Good morning, everybody. And uh, thank you, Sandeepan, for inviting me. And thank you, Mr. Das, for giving us a fantastic presentation of innovation. Uh, I see a lot of matured, intelligent people as an audience. So I don't know how far that I can really deliver my experience to you regarding the strategy to win. That's what he asked me to talk about. OK, the strategy to win is uh, something which we always do, whether it is a business or in personal life or whatever you do today. Even while coming here at 10.15, and we have a strategy to come out, how to reach at 10.15, right? So that comes inherent in everybody, whoever would like to reach or achieve something. So I have really gone through my 30 years of experience making strategy every day for a short term, for a long term. Companies do strategy for their business side. Individuals do strategy for their personal side. So I have a few points to ponder upon on the strategic side. What is the strategy to win? Win what? Money, success, or whatever. So because we are in a business platform, we feel that we are looking for a successful business to deliver. And by which we are planned to come out, convert our skill through a business process to some wealth generation, which of course money. We can keep it at the side and start with money. Now, the next comes about what is called about what we intend to do and what is our platform that we plan to make the strategy. So the platform that we have, thinking what we are going to do, is my business setup if I'm an entrepreneur. I'm starting up a business. Or if I'm an employee, I've been given certain tasks to do, certain deliver certain product line, make some success. Now, most of the people that I have come across, sometimes they miss on what they're supposed to do. So it comes on the boss who is supposed to lead him where to go. So it's a communication that is very important, I find, when a strategic planning is being implemented. The main problem is, even when I'm talking about the Indian perspective, we speak in English or we speak in regionals. So when we speak in English and transfer certain of our ideas to the guys down the line, or even to my boss, we think, we translate inside, and we transpire. Now I find sometimes there's a transmission loss. What I intend to say, what I think, and what I really deliver, there is a gap. And if that gap is a sustainable gap, this is fine. If not, it may lead to a problem. Every meaning has, uh, sometimes the English has a different meaning of same word. And on a lighter note, one guy was very depressed. I asked why. He said, look, I told my fiance, I love you. And she said, I love you too. And he's depressed. I said, why are you depressed? He said, look, he said, love you too. I am the one who is the second one. That was his question. He confused about T double O and T double O. So communication is a thing which we should be very careful when we are planning to deliver. Business strategy winning is a process and it's a power play. It's a game that we are playing every day. Now we have a long term and a short term, as I said. Now we it's the birth of a business and it doesn't die. So are we planning my business on a chance or a choice? Let us first decide. If I have been given a chance, that is something different, but by a choice is a different. So between business birth and the continuation, creating is very easy. We can create a business. Now, to destroy the business is also equivalent easy. The first thing come into it, how do we maintain? The maintenance program of a business, that is going to give us 
whatever Mr. Das has given the innovation that comes in between. So the maintenance program of a business is the, one of the key major factor for the success to borrow. The innovative plan or the strategic part of any business, we have an initial chart which we can always make a deviation as we go along. But we never deviate what is my, in my mind for the part of the last of the goal. Sometimes we reach with a ball in the goal and don't find the goal post. So we again rejuvenate ourselves to do whatever I'm supposed to do. This is a huge level playing field. Now, I was listening to Jack Ma, maybe knowing Alibaba. So here's a beautiful few words I was listening to him. He said, if you want to really deal with business, whatever the size may be, it is a one CR, two, whatever maybe. But the process, that is a process, it has got its own strength, which leads to a process. Uh, age, of course, comes what you are, when you are making your business happening. He says, at 25, 30, people are thinking that I'm going to start up a business or I'm going to be a, a big employee tomorrow, a big CEO. He may not be an entrepreneur, but he plans to be a CEO or CEO or whatever. At the age of 25, 30, make as many mistakes as you want. Make an archived strategy of the business that you've gone through and made failures or experimentation. Use that huge experiment from which is there in an archive, move it to your folder and start working between 30 to 40, which create, which is really creating. 40 to 50, you get a fruit out of it. After 50, you pass on your experience to the young generation. Make them understand what you did and what your vision. Let them work. And at 60 plus, go to a beach, Havana. Enjoy from there, remote. Sometimes it's possible, sometimes not possible. But if you create a strategic planning on that account that I want to have a beachside home after 60, you've got to make a planning today. Most of the time, like we do LICs, People come and ask us to do, hey, come and do LIC, because I'm an agent. I, I want to make some money out of it. So we do LIC. We never know what is the strategic planning for me to be insured. So this story goes like this for making a business. Now, there were three people, a stone cutter, this story is pretty known, that one guy was asked to cut a stone. He was just cutting a stone. He was asked, what are you doing? He said, I'm cutting a stone. He doesn't know what is the... What is, the, what is this product going to be? The other guy was asked, I'm cutting a stone, which looks like a design he has shown. It looks like this. The third one, he said, I'm cutting a stone, design is this, I'm going to be fitted on the corner of a temple. He knows what is job. His perfection, the guy who knows what is the ultimate destination of his job, he only can deliver. So on the communication side, once you're through, you're planning us through, then whole process is, if it is for earning, for us, everybody, for us, if it's an earning, and earning comes unless, until you learn. So put an L before earn, it becomes learn. What is an L? L is nothing but listen. Listen to people who are successful. Listen to people who are wisdom. Listen to people who have failed in life and the success postponed for them. Don't listen to a failure, always. A guy who is a failure, but his success postponed, listen to him. Then, whether it is a success or a failure, you can measure tomorrow. Failure is not really what I wanted to have, I didn't get, no. Failure is defined so many jargon way, I'm not going to discuss on that account, but definitely we understand what the failure is. I, I want something that didn't happen to me. But let that be an experience kitty. So, if we really walk on that path, few other responsibility comes in as a human being, which we can always contribute to the society. Identifying a product, identifying a service, making it sold in the market, making money for myself, and around. So I'm happy. 
and that happiness can be a strategy for me I want to be happy that's why I'm doing whatever I'm supposed to do and after being happy what do you do you spread your happiness there comes your CSR you spread your happiness if you be only the happy guy in the society it doesn't matter it doesn't really make any sense so your strategy also should have to make yourself happy make others happy that's the part of your business plan there are I find I, maybe a lot of employees employers CEOs in this uh, meeting who who is going through a process of success a process of failure making success if somebody is really going through a process of absolute failure I'm not sure I'm sorry about it if he may not be here to listen what is the strategy to win a guy going to a sunny mandir and asking me tell me the sun is after me you know I don't have anything to do so the pujari says they give me five bucks I'll give you some upai bana ke dekhe he said I don't have five bucks that is sunny tera kya bigrega go if you don't have five bucks what what you have sunny is going to do calamity to you so having nothing and from there to create is difficult today so what you need to have the resources today to survive in a business you have to have the resources resources can be manpower resources can be finance resources can be good advice so you got to find out the right kind of person in your life maybe a guru maybe advisor maybe whoever maybe you got to find out from whom you can get the right kind of advice the problem is in today we get advice unsolicited don't take any unsolicited advice you solicit the advice because you need the advice but finding out the right kind of person is always a problem for us we do not know what is in but you got to search for it even today Sachin Tendulkar has a coach he needs a coach after so much of blasting he needs a coach because maybe still he needs a perfection so even if I feel that I'm a perfect guy I need to have a perfection more so finding the right kind of guy is one of the thing that is always you'll be in search so that he is with you you know it is something it's not a real it is kind of real story a guy was going from here to Delhi for an appointment with some business advisor or doctor I don't remember and they were traveling in train he was traveling in train to go to De Delhi and it was a long four or five months wait and he was discussing with one of the fellow passenger you know general discussion At the time of coming to Delhi station he understood the guy he is going to go and meet he was with him in the same compartment for a five minutes meeting he took waited five months he had 24 hours with him he couldn't understand this is the guy he was looking for so whose failure is this it's me who failed so knowing the people making the contact getting it out and putting into your resource that is also a strategy to win so our continuous search of right advice a lot of successful people if you can ask them what is that key even if you ask Bill Gates what is the key he doesn't know it happened don't copy let's not copy Bill Gates cannot be copied Zuckerberg cannot be copied it happened even if you go anybody and ask Mohandas spy Infosys he said I know Infosys is so big but if you ask me to make another Infosys Murthy he said I cannot make another Infosys I cannot copy a copy cannot be it should be original if you go in the market with a Xerox it doesn't work you need to have your own original copy your own system to decide and design and go ahead in the market so keeping this in view when other things come in line and process on a strategy our whole process of employee employee relationship 
the maintenance program, the relationship comes very big way, very big way. It's very easy for us to make a contact, love at first sight, very easy. But at the same time, we have so many times I've found divorce at first fight. So we couldn't maintain the relationship maintenance in a business process is one of the key important guide where your PR will lead you how many people that will reach you at your when you need them. That's your balance sheet in life, even. In one call, how many people are really going to reach you? Now my call can be a various way and which is my audience? What is my product? What is my services? And what is my audience? If we can really can reach the right kind of audience, then you really sell, otherwise it doesn't work. Now the management jargon says, can you sell an ice to an Eskimo kind of scenario? Really I don't have an ice to sell an Eskimo. You need to find out what he says, Mr. Dar, the market spectrum, where we really go. So a very young age, an entrepreneur, when he is 25, 30, 32, 35, it is very hard for him to understand the global market, where to sell. So there comes an advisor, there comes his experience, there comes a guru who prompts him or he learns through his process of understanding of the business side. A guy coming up directly from the college MBA, they are moving for a startups today without any experience in the, in, in the market, straight from the college, straight to the startups. So what is there? A guy, a college guy coming to a startup. So he learned, he understood the process of business during his course. I'm sure there must be some kind of kick in in him during the process of getting him to bloom out. So a scenario where he can think of a business setup. Today go to IITs, go to IIM colleges, the people are talking, discussing every day, every time with the people from the industry and they're, they're collecting informations. You know, one very true story, you, have, you must be knowing the Garware polyfilms, but you see the Garware polyfilms, you cannot see from outside, inside, they put in the glasses. That was the first they came in, and the discussion was going on for such kind of polyfilm, it was an innovative polyfilm, in one of the cafeteria. And the, the guy was discussing about it. One guy listened to that, he was a part of that other team. He got that information, moved to his home, talked to his boss, took the flight next day, and reached the technology guy in Japan. And the first thing came to, back to India, who formed the Garwari Polyfilm. Now today, so many companies are there. So the opportunity, the information coming in, which is coming in, it may be garbage, but we need to filter those garbage information where I can convert that information into wealth. So there comes the prudence. There comes the diligence. There comes the intelligence come and play a lot of, lot of role where we are looking for it. So for a strategic win, so many parameters are there, so many parameters. We really cannot note it down and fix down. These are the parameters I should have. Then I can make a strategy which is a winning strategy. Who has seen win, who has seen success, and who has not seen success, the two different prodigy altogether. If somebody has seen, witnessed, experienced either direct win or direct success or fruit of a success, he can only think how to strategic planning for a winning scenario. Who has an experience, who is a blind on success, who is a blind on win, what is the story of winning? If you ask him to make a strategy, you may lead to a different scenario, different dark age. So when I talk about win, win, and win. It is always give you a boosting energy to move towards the win. Now, to move towards the win, a lot of hurdles, a lot of hurdles. I make my strategy, I'm going to move A, B, C, D, E, and once I move from A to B, it's okay, B to C is okay, C to D is a lot of hurdle. So much of hurdle, I tumble down, and I don't have power to move from D to E. Then what happens? The whole, whole plan walks down to zero. Then everybody says, do you have the plan B and plan C? So every strategy that we make should have a plan A, which is a winning plan, 
should have a plan B, which is a defending plan, and plan C may be an escape route. I went so much, I failed, all of my resources are gone, I should have so much of resources at least left by which I can come back. I may not go ahead. If I go ahead, I'm gone. Nothing is left for us. So those innovativeness on those strategic part, it's the guy who is in charge. Now sometimes it's me who is in charge, sometimes it's we who are in charge. It's always better, me being the leader, let there, there be a team of we, where you can command me, you and others, where you value people. And value people of those who we have identified in life, who have seen the world, who have wisdom, who have knowledge. And they can, they are willing to part. If there are people who have a lot of knowledge, but they are not willing to part out, no point. They are willing to part. So, collecting of the right kind of resources today is one of the key goals for you to go ahead. So, if you don't have resources, in today's life, you really cannot think of something big. And there comes your personal relationship, making PR, making contacts. SMB is maybe one of that platform where you really network with people, understand if something can be exchanged. You know, one can go a little far. If you to go farther, you need to have, it is better to have two or three or four. So on business side, let's talk today, more things to happen. Uh, I think uh, some more speakers are there. So I feel that on a strategic meeting, let's be honest to ourselves. Let's be transparent to ourselves. And you question yourself whether you are right, you are wrong. When you question yourself whether you are right, you are wrong, be very, very transparent to yourself, answering your question whether I'm right, I'm wrong. There should be a gut feeling. Now, there can be so many factors that can guide you for the win. It may be luck, it may be faith, it may be effort. So luck and faith, where well, it is beyond your control, but effort is in your control. So my effort is put in, and once I put my effort up to the highest standard, there are so many ways we can discuss about it today. We cannot discuss all the factors, but effort is the thing which I'm going to put into my system. I'm going to reap benefit out of it. When I get reap benefit out of it, then I pass on, and that's the way it runs. That's the way it expands. So let's go for an expansion where we share and we be happy and let the strategy be the ultimate goal is being happiness and the happiness will bring all the things that are looking for is money, wealth, everything, whatever. So let's, that's the only thing that I'm going to talk about it. Otherwise, uh, time is not very, uh, with us, I can talk about more and more. So my strategy to win is to win happiness in life. That's the only thing. Thank you very much.